Students who performed well in the primary exit profile PEP examinations were awarded scholarships and grants in the South St. Andrew constituency. Member of Parliament Mark Golding says this initiative is of significance amid trying economical times. Shaveen McLean tells us more. Students in the St. Andrew South constituency were recipients of scholarships and grants recently for their outstanding performance in the 2022 sitting of the primary exit profile PEP exams. Member of Parliament Mark Golding says this has been an ongoing initiative in his constituency. So we have a cutoff at 325, I think, was the cutoff this year for it. And 100, I think, 100, 101 uh, children from the constituency qualified for getting the the grant and we have three levels depending on how well they do uh, we have three different levels so there are three different levels of award and uh, you know this is something that uh, you know we're very happy to be able to do and we encourage and ask for help when doing it and we get good support from the network of private sector donors corporate and individual donors the initiative is much appreciated by parents and students with the back to school expenses at an all-time high Times are very hard in Jamaica right now. School books are exorbitantly expensive and all the costs of going back to school are very high. So parents are really feeling it now. So this is particularly meaningful for the parents this year of the children who get these awards. And of course, this is separate and apart and in addition to the general back to school program that we run in the constituency and that most MPs and councillors run. Golding adds that this year's awards is valued up to 2 million Jamaican dollars with the grants divided in three tiers. The awards mainly focus on primary and secondary students. However, more attention has been needed for tertiary level students as well. I also run a program for stu um, students from the constituency who are in tertiary uh, level uh, education, whether it be university or college. And they get, if they apply, you know, I try and find some money to help them with a grant. A modest grant because there are many, I'm glad to say there are many um, students from the constituency who are getting on in life through, you know, tertiary education, whether it be vocational or academic.